Between the applause, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh was apologizing for taking two years to make his first visit to New Brunswick. I'm really sorry about that. It was, uh, it's a mistake. I, I should have come out here sooner, and I'm really happy to be here now. For some New Brunswick NDPers, it's too little, too late. Earlier this month, a group of provincial candidates defected to the Green Party. Some suggested Singh's absence was a factor. They questioned whether New Brunswickers are open to supporting a federal leader who's a person of color, a suggestion Singh dismisses. That's not true. <laughs> that uh, people in, in Bathurst are, are welcoming and open-hearted and, and beautiful people that just want someone that understands them. The NDP's strength on the East Coast is spotty. Almost two weeks after the campaign started, the party is only now filling out an entire slate of New Brunswick candidates. Singh blames the delay on a concerted push to find female nominees, which takes longer. It's because women aren't reflected and they don't see themselves, and so it's harder. In the end, only two of ten New Brunswick NDP candidates are women, although the number nationally is almost half. Singh is emphasizing NDP promises of expanded drug and dental coverage for Canadians, messages that found a receptive audience later in the day in Halifax. I think Jagmeet Singh is doing a great job of representing the values of the NDP. I've thought about voting for them anyway, but I, I like him. I think he's, uh, you know, he uh, seems like a very honest sort of straight up guy. Through the years, the New Democrats have had some success in Atlantic Canada. By becoming more visible in the region, Singh hopes to break the Liberals' grip and also prevent the Green Party from attracting more NDP members.